Am I the asshole? For asking my brother to pay $30,000 for my engagement ring? I hosted a family dinner over the weekend. My brother brought my nephews four and eight over as well. I used to wear my engagement ring all the time, but lately I keep it in my walk-in closet and mainly wear it for special occasions. While I was cleaning up the dinner table, my nephews went to go play while the adults were still in the outdoor patio outdoor kitchen area. My brother was not supervising his kids. During this time, my nephews went into the master bedroom without anyone knowing and started playing with everything, including my engagement ring. When we came to look for them, they panicked because they know they aren't supposed to be upstairs, ran into the master bathroom and flushed my ring. We called a plumber in case it was somehow in the U-trap of the toilet and not actually gone. But nope. Unfortunately it was gone for good. We still had the original receipt, so I called my brother. I emailed him a scanned copy as proof of the cost and asked him to reimburse me for the ring my nephew flushed. Immediately he started calling me an asshole because we were family and he was just a child. He has refused to repay the cost of my ring. I told him I will be taking him to court for this and now my entire family is blowing up my phone saying family shouldn't sue each other and just let it go. Edit no, the ring was not insured. I found out the day after my nephew flushed it. My husband says he forgot and in the end never actually insured it. Edit 2 My brother says he does not have the money to repay even $100 per month and has refused any kind of repayment plan. He said I live in a nice enough house and if I want a replacement, I should just sell my car. Edit 3 My brother, to this day, has not truly apologized. It was a Canadian sorry. Sorry, not sorry. He said kids will do what is normal for kids, and they shouldn't be held responsible for a ring. They were supposed to supervise their kids outdoors with the rest of the family while I was busy cleaning up. Edit 4 I don't believe for a second my brother and his wife cannot pay for the cost of my engagement ring. They don't make anything near my husband but they have a combined income of around 250k. They don't pay rent or anything because my parents gifted them their old house valued at 3.5 million in Toronto on CA back when I bought my parents a new home years ago. There is no mortgage on the home my brother lives in. The only things my brother and his wife would have to pay for is the cost of raising their children, normal bills, and food. I feel so distraught because my ring holds great sentimental value. I've already been speaking with my husband's family lawyer, but at this point, I'm ready to hire a pie to find out if they really don't have the money. Info. Are you sure they flushed the ring? This story is so incredibly strange. What are the odds that they'd be lying straight for the closet, find your $30,000 uninsured ring, and then flush it down the toilet? Info Your $30,000 ring wasn't insured? That's the first thing you're supposed to do, because accidents happen, even if you don't wear your ring often. They get stolen, or nibblings flush them randomly. Hence insurance. Edit It's not ideal to sue him, because he should never put you in this position. He should have proposed some sort of payment plan in some way shape or form. Since he was a giant R about blaming you, now you're NTA taking him to court. Unless you have insurance and can handle it that way. Did the plumber run a camera all the way to the sewer tap? Or did they just look at the toilet? I've pulled up several pieces of jewelry over the years and it's rare for rings to make it all the way to the tap. Not the asshole. X200B. Your family is right, family shouldn't sue each other, because it should be being repaid without courts. You didn't insure a $30,000 dollar ring? Edit for those of you who say the insurance isn't the point of course it's the point. The point of this whole thing is the sheer amount of money involved. Shit happens all the time. Kids get into things, dogs eat things, partners lose things. Anything that you value is on you to insure or protect. You're the asshole for walking around with a 30k liability the size of a marble and then pointing fingers at whoever touched it last before it disappeared. Not the asshole. 
We are family and it was an accident doesn't absolve his responsibility for the damage he caused you. It's unfortunate that you have to sue him, but he's the one putting you in this position. He should have offered to pay you back in any way he could. So, he doesn't watch his kid, and you are the asshole if said kid damages your property? I don't think so. If he doesn't cough up the money, do sue. And this is why you better have insurance if you have kids. Not the asshole edited to add judgment. Not the asshole as the parent, he's responsible for the damage his kids do. And it wasn't even an accident. Not the asshole. He was just a child. Then he should have been supervising his just a child to ensure something like this didn't happen. In folk can we see a pick of the ring? I just have no concept of what a dollar thirty apostrophe o o o ring would even look like. I mean, I paid less for my car. There is no way this is real especially buying a 30k ring like any experienced jeweler would ensure at ring. Not the asshole. He's responsible for his kids essentially stealing and destroying someone's property. Also I'm curious why in the world an 8 year old thought it was okay to flush the ring and not just put it somewhere. Why wasn't it insured? My ring is $30,000 as well $200 a year extra on my homeowner's insurance and if anything happens it's replaceable with a $1,500 deductible. Not the asshole overall, but kind of silly on your part. Not the asshole. Holy shit. I would lose my shit if this happened to me. I'm sorry but your brother needs to show a little more remorse and should be offering something. I agree with others that he will never pay you back. But damn. Awful awful. E.S.H. Him for letting his children behave like that and for refusing any sort of compensation, and you and your husband for not having insurance on a 30k ring. Not the asshole. Why was the kid in your room with your personal belongings? My kid is always in view. 30k is a very expensive ring. I'm surprised homeowner's insurance isn't going to cover it. Don't you have insurance on that ring? Who has a 30k ring without insurance? Don't get me wrong, he should take responsibility, but if it's insured, there should be some help there to defray some of the cost. Ok after the edits I'm going to ESH. How did your husband spend 30k on a ring and not insure it immediately? Your brother should have been watching his kids and they never should have made it to your room. I'm gonna go with not the asshole. It was stupid not to insure it, but I'm not going to victim blame, it should have been safe in your room. It's up to you if you want to sue, but keep in mind that it's going to irreversibly change your relationship with your extended family, not just your brother. If you wanted to be petty, tell him you'll call it even if he gives you his wife's ring. Not the asshole as your brother should take responsibility however you're an absolute idiot and your husband for not insuring that ring. Like, I can't begin to fathom why it wasn't insured, all I can think is that you're both complete idiots. Stupid people are always the ones blessed with money. Spend 30k on a rock you should have an insurance policy. Or at least keep it in a safe.